Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Jar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to make an auto playing, looping, horizontally sliding carousel. Here's an example of a cosmetics website featuring different products on separate slides that continually slide into view. Let us know in the comments how you would use an auto playing slideshow like this. There are some other ways to make auto playing content with N5 by using either the Image Sequence Interactive widget or the Slideshow Interactive widget. The Image Sequence Interactive widget uses only images, and the transitions are like cuts from one image to the next. If you'd like to add a button or text to the auto playing images, you can use the Slideshow Interactive widget, which is made from a multi state object, otherwise known as an MSO. The MSO slideshow also switches images like a cut transition by default, or you can add a crossfade transition. If you'd like to use a horizontally sliding transition, then you'll want to use the Web Content Interactive widget. Let's go to InDesign to see how to set it up. The N5 Web Content Interactive widget lets you embed either a website's URL or local HTML5 content, such as another N5 exported document. We are going to make the carousel that other document. To make the carousel, we're first going to add the content for each slide on a page. You can see I've already got the page content for the five pages. Then we'll use presentation mode by going to N5 Enhancements Presentation Mode. In the Presentation Mode dialog, select Enable Presentation Mode. I'm going to deselect full screen on double click so that that message doesn't show up in the carousel. Select Enable Autoplay and Loop, and I'm going to change the duration just to make it a little faster for the demo. And then I'll close Presentation Mode, and we're ready to export. So let's go to N5, Export HTML5 with N5, Save, and in the Basic section of the Export dialog, I'm going to change the page format to slider horizontal. When I do, I get this show back and next arrows. I'm going to turn that off so that I don't have that showing up in the carousel. And then I'm going to click OK. And click Done. And now let's go over to our main document. Now we need to make the main document that will contain the carousel. I've already made a rectangle the size of the carousel. I'll select it and go to N5. Interactive Widgets, Web Content. I'll click on the button below URL or file to navigate to the index.html file of the carousel document and click Open. And then I can close that dialog. And now let's export this document. I'll go to N5, Export HTML5 with N5, Save. And now while I have this export dialog open, what I could do if I wanted is go to the resources section and copy some code that I have to make the scrolling of the carousel work with the mouse wheel. I would add that by clicking the plus button and pasting in that code. I'm not going to do that right here, but just so that you know that's an option. And now I'm going to click OK. And let's take a look. And here's our website with our carousel that automatically plays. I hope this video inspires you to embed your own N5 slider content on your own website. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.